Hi Buns, today we're going to go over the seven most important preparations you can do in order to make your party finder experience the least amount of shitty for endgame rating, if that's even possible. Make sure to hit that like button to help support the channel and let's jump into it. Number one, for savage endgame rating, watching relevant endgame guides. Most of the time, like seriously, 90% of the time, the video is Hector Hectorson's guides. And a lot of Final Fantasy rating is centered around his videos. You might see Hect Strat in the Party Finder description, which is essentially just saying the video he put out. The other creator that I really highly recommend is watching MTQ Capture, who shows gameplay of the fight so you can start learning the mechanics and visually seeing what you're getting yourself into. Starting here is going to put you leagues ahead for preparation for Party Finder and or just finding a static. Number two for endgame rating is watching a POV of the role you're going to play. This is what nearly changed my rating experience as a beginner raider, was watching other people clear the fight in my same role. This helped twofold. One, with seeing positioning for my healer 2 or healer 1 position, and also seeing how the mitigations worked when they used them, and then working on a plan for myself to make sure to have similar mitigations and or change if necessary. The second thing it helps with is just mechanics and positioning. Being able to see what the healer role is and focusing on that only is really going to help you connect the dots when you're in the fight yourself. This is honestly my biggest and best tip as POVs really just help you get on the ground level of the fight and help you understand mechanics. Number three tip for endgame raiding is identifying any specific strats for the mechanic. There are many raid fights where multiple strats can work and most of the time during the first week or so, many come out. You might hear JP strat, which is usually what the JP server comes up with, which is AKA brain dead strat. These are all just placeholders for a specific strategy of the fight on a very specific mechanic. You can usually just Google the strat name in Final Fantasy 14 and a video will pop up. A current example is for P9S. This is a 11 strike mechanic in the middle of the raid. There are three different strategies going around right now, which is Cryo, Oppo, or JP. Now the names, I can honestly not say for sure who names them or why they get the names they do. They're usually just related to old mechanics that happened a long time ago or specific to the group that put them together. The names are not important, but understanding the strategy attached is. Hector has a guide specifically on that mechanic, and you can usually find one just explaining the strategy. The fourth tip I have for endgame rating, and this one is a doozy, be honest about your progression or aka prog point. Don't lie to yourself. This is where I see most things go south in Party Finder. Let's take Voidcast Extreme. Gale 2 prog is the most common thing you'll see in Party Finder. Party Finder gets together, dies to Meteor, which is way before Gale 2. Frustration can start and then Party Finder disbands because one person said they've been to Gale 2 and they've never seen the mechanic. If you'd only been to the mechanic once or twice and joined a party for that mechanic, I'm always very honest of what I'm joining. So I would say I've been to Gale 2 a few times, still learning the mechanic. So let me know if I can improve. And nine times out of 10, this always elicits a no worries. It's a prog party and we're all here to learn. The fifth tip I have for you out of seven for endgame rating is gearing is important. Going with the highest item level is not always the name of the game. The balanced discord most of the time figures out all the gear you need, even if you're pre-biz, which means you have no extreme or savage gear. You'll see this mostly when a new tier of rating comes out. The biggest importance here is understanding the GCD speeds when it comes to gearing. They usually have a few to choose from depending on what makes you feel comfortable on your job. Gearing is closely related to your opener and your opener is the one thing that you need to practice a lot on your own in order for all of your OGCDs and GCDs to align throughout the battle. Ultimately, following a GCD recommended for the balance is going to give you a much better experience for gear and rotation and give you an entire neat little opener to follow. And it's very job specific. So just take a few minutes to do your own research. It's just a great guide to get you started and playing like a mediocre intermediate pro in no time. My sixth tip for endgame rating is learn the term basics. There are plenty of endgame terms that are used in a lot of different fights and understanding these will give you a great start. First, enums. That is just when you stack with a partner for a specific mechanic with the blue circle around you. The next is clock spots. That means to get to your pre-arranged clock spot position for a mechanic. These are decided upon before the start of the raid, usually with a way marker put down and everyone's gathering around it. 
We have cardinals and intercardinals. These are things you'll see very often. If you think of a square, cardinals are gonna be the long side of the square and intercardinals are gonna be the corners of the square. You see this a lot with different mechanics. If you want me to compile a long list of raid terminology, then leave a comment down below so I know people are interested in that. Going over the basics can be a really good way to get you started. My last but most important tip is leave the salt in the cupboard where it belongs. If you come off with a bad attitude, then people will reciprocate that. I always start off with a hey, hi, or just an upbeat looking forward to this fight. This always sets the right tone of how you're approaching Party Finder. Being on console is no excuse. You can easily set up pre-made macros to let the party know that you're on console, but you are reading party chat and that if they have any constructive criticism to let you know, so then you can learn. If someone is being toxic, there is nothing you can do about it other than just call them out and saying, hey, this is a prog party. We're all learning here. You are probably going to have bad experiences, unfortunately, but preparing everything you can beforehand to limit those bad experiences of everything in your own control is very important. If someone's going to be a dick, they're going to be a dick regardless of how good or how bad you are. All of these tips have made my raid party finder experience a million times better, so I hope they can help you out too. The whole idea of personal responsibility in learning is very prevalent in this rating tier and for Endwalker in general. Honestly, this shit is very tough mentally either way. If you can find a static, do that. There are websites all over the place, but starting with extremes and learning your rotation, gearing properly and learning your opener is the number one priority. If you have a shit time in Party Finder, just dust yourself off, take a little bit of a break and get back into it. Most peeps are super nice out there and I've only had really good interactions with people. Thank you to my Bun supporters on Patreon, Discord and YouTube as you make this channel possible with your monthly donations and also to my Ko-Fi supporters. If you want to watch my vast library of Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here. Before I forget, if you're looking for a Discord to hang out and build community with, then mine has open arms for you. We have a really great time there and we'd love to have you.